data cleansing, data cleaning or data scrubbing is the process of detecting and correcting corrupt or inaccurate records from a record set, table, or database. Used mainly in databases, the term refers to identifying incomplete, incorrect, inaccurate, irrelevant, etc. parts of the data and then replacing, modifying, or deleting this dirty data or coarse data. After cleansing, a data set will be consistent with other similar data sets in the system. The inconsistencies detected or removed may have been originally caused by user entry errors, by corruption in transmission or storage, or by different data dictionary definitions of similar entities in different stores. Data cleansing differs from data validation in that validation almost invariably means data is rejected from the system at entry and is performed at entry time, rather than on batches of data. The actual process of data cleansing may involve removing typographical errors or validating and correcting values against a known list of entities. The validation may be strict or fuzzy. Some data cleansing solutions will clean data by cross-checking with a validated data set. Also data enhancement, where data is made more complete by adding related information, is a common data cleansing practice. For example, appending addresses with phone numbers related to that address. Data cleansing may also involve activities like, harmonization of data, and standardization of data. For example, harmonization of short codes to actual words. Standardization of data is a means of changing a reference data set to a new standard, x, use of standard codes. Motivation, administratively, incorrect or inconsistent data can lead to false conclusions and misdirected investments on both public and private scales. For instance, the government may want to analyze population census figures to decide which regions require further spending and investment on infrastructure and services. In this case, it will be important to have access to reliable data to avoid erroneous fiscal decisions. In the business world, incorrect data can be costly. Many companies use customer information databases that record data like contact information, addresses, and preferences. For instance, if the addresses are inconsistent, the company will suffer the cost of resending mail or even losing customers. The profession of forensic accounting and fraud investigating uses data cleansing in preparing its data and is typically done before data is sent to a data warehouse for further investigation. There are packages available so you can cleanse wash address data while you enter it into your system. This is normally done via an API and will prompt staff as they type the address. Data quality, high quality data needs to pass a set of quality criteria. Those include validity the degree to which the measures conform to defined business rules or constraints. When modern database technology is used to design data capture systems, validity is fairly easy to ensure. Invalid data arises mainly in legacy contexts or where inappropriate data capture technology was used. Data constraints fall into the following categories, data type constraints a euro for example, values in a particular column must be of a particular data type, for example, Boolean, numeric, date, etc. Range constraints, typically, numbers or dates should fall within a certain range. That is, they have minimum and or maximum permissible values. Mandatory constraints, certain columns cannot be empty. Unique constraints, a field, or a combination of fields, must be unique across a data set. For example, no two persons can have the same social security number. Set membership constraints. The values for a column come from a set of discrete values or codes. For example, a person's gender may be female, male or unknown. Foreign key constraints. This is the more general case of set membership. The set of values in a column is defined in a column of another table that contains unique values. For example, in a U.S. taxpayer database, the state column is required to belong to one of the U.S.'s defined states or territories, the set of permissible states territories is recorded in a separate states table. The term foreign key is borrowed from relational database terminology. Regular expression patterns, occasionally, text fields will have to be validated this way. For example, 
phone numbers may be required to have the pattern 999 to 9999. Cross-field validation, certain conditions that utilize multiple fields must hold. For example, in laboratory medicine, the sum of the components of the differential white blood cell count must be equal to 100. In a hospital database, a patient's date of discharge from hospital cannot be earlier than the date of admission. Decleansing is detecting errors and syntactically removing them for better programming. Accuracy, the degree of conformity of a measure to a standard or a true value, see also accuracy and precision. Accuracy is very hard to achieve through data cleansing in the general case, because it requires accessing an external source of data that contains the true value, such gold standard data is often unavailable. Accuracy has been achieved in some cleansing contexts, notably customer contact data, by using external databases that match up zip codes to geographical locations, and also help verify that street addresses within these zip codes actually exist. Completeness, the degree to which all required measures are known. Incompleteness is almost impossible to fix with data cleansing methodology, one cannot infer facts that were not captured when the data in question was initially recorded. In some contexts, for example, interview data, it may be possible to fix incompleteness by going back to the original source of data, i.e., re-interviewing the subject, but even this does not guarantee success because of problems of recall. For example, in an interview to gather data on food consumption, no one is likely to remember exactly what one ate six months ago. In the case of systems that insist certain columns should not be empty, one may work around the problem by designating a value that indicates a known, or missing, but supplying of default values does not imply that the data has been made complete. Consistency the degree to which a set of measures are equivalent in across systems. Inconsistency occurs when two data items in the data set contradict each other. For example, a customer is recorded in two different systems as having two different current addresses, and only one of them can be correct. Fixing inconsistency is not always possible, it requires a variety of strategies, for example, deciding which data were recorded more recently which data source is likely to be most reliable, or simply trying to find the truth by testing both data items. Uniformity, the degree to which a set data measures is specified using the same units of measure in all systems. In data sets pooled from different locales, weight may be recorded either in pounds or kilos, and must be converted to a single measure using an arithmetic transformation. The term integrity encompasses accuracy, consistency and some aspects of validation but is rarely used by itself in data cleansing contexts because it is insufficiently specific. The process of data cleansing, data auditing, the data is audited with the use of statistical and database methods to detect anomalies and contradictions, this eventually gives an indication of the characteristics of the anomalies and their locations. Several commercial software packages will let you specify constraints of various kinds and then generate code that checks the data for violation of these constraints. This process is referred to below in the bullets workflow specification and workflow execution. For users who lack access to high-end cleansing software, microcomputer database packages such as Microsoft Access or FileMaker Pro will also let you perform such checks on a constraint by constraint basis interactively with little or no programming required in many cases. Workflow specification, the detection and removal of anomalies is performed by a sequence of operations on the data known as the workflow. It is specified after the process of auditing the data and is crucial in achieving the end product of high quality data. In order to achieve a proper workflow, the causes of the anomalies and errors in the data have to be closely considered. Workflow execution, in this stage, the workflow is executed after its specification is complete and its correctness is verified. The implementation of the workflow should be efficient, even on large sets of data, which inevitably poses a trade-off because the execution of a data cleansing operation can be computationally expensive. Post-processing and controlling, after executing the cleansing workflow, the results are inspected to verify correctness. Data that could not be corrected during execution of the workflow is manually corrected, if possible. 
the result is a new cycle in the data cleansing process where the data is audited again to allow the specification of an additional workflow to further cleanse the data by automatic processing. The cleans, parsing, for the detection of syntax errors. A parser decides whether a string of data is acceptable within the allowed data specification. This is similar to the way a parser works with grammars and languages. Data transformation Data transformation allows the mapping of the data from its given format into the format expected by the appropriate application. This includes value conversions or translation functions, as well as normalizing numeric values to conform to minimum and maximum values. Duplicate elimination Duplicate detection requires an algorithm for determining whether data contains duplicate representations of the same entity. Usually, data is sorted by a key that would bring duplicate entries closer together for faster identification. Statistical methods By analyzing the data using the values of mean, standard deviation, range, or clustering algorithms, it is possible for an expert to find values that are unexpected and thus erroneous. Although the correction of such data is difficult since the true value is not known, it can be resolved by setting the values to an average or other statistical value. Statistical methods can also be used to handle missing values which can be replaced by one or more plausible values, which are usually obtained by extensive data augmentation algorithms. Challenges and Problems Error Correction and Loss of Information the most challenging problem within data cleansing remains the correction of values to remove duplicates and invalid entries. In many cases, the available information on such anomalies is limited and insufficient to determine the necessary transformations or corrections, leaving the deletion of such entries as a primary solution. The deletion of data, though, leads to loss of information. This loss can be particularly costly if there is a large amount of deleted data. Maintenance of cleansed data Data cleansing is an expensive and time-consuming process. So after having performed data cleansing and achieving a data collection free of errors, one would want to avoid the re-cleansing of data in its entirety after some values in data collection change. The process should only be repeated on values that have changed. This means that a cleansing lineage would need to be kept, which would require efficient data collection and management techniques. Data cleansing in virtually integrated environments, in virtually integrated sources like IBMA Euro Unregistered Trademark S Discovery Link, the cleansing of data has to be performed every time the data is accessed, which considerably decreases the response time and efficiency. Data cleansing framework, in many cases, it will not be possible to derive a complete data cleansing graph to guide the process in advance. This makes data cleansing an iterative process involving significant exploration and interaction, which may require a framework in the form of a collection of methods for error detection and elimination in addition to data auditing. This can be integrated with other data processing stages like integration and maintenance. See also, extract, transform, load, data mining, data quality, data quality assurance, record linkage, data editing. References. Sources, Han, J. Camber, M. Data Mining, Concepts and Techniques, Morgan Kaufman, 2001. ISBN 1-55860-489-8. Kimball, R. Caserta, J. The Data Warehouse ETL Toolkit, Wiley & Sons, 2004. ISBN 0-7645. 6757-8. Muller H., Freight McJ., Problems, Methods, and Challenges in Comprehensive Data Cleansing, Humboldt University zu Berlin, Germany. Ram, E., Hong, H. Data Cleaning, Problems and Current Approaches, University of Leipzig, Germany. External links, Computer World, Data Scrubbing, Irad Ram, Hong Hai Du, Data Cleaning, Problems and Current Approaches